Hey guys, I had to remake this video because all the gunshots, so I just decided I'd remake it and also to kind of um, make it shorter. So guys, I have kind of been hiking here, but I haven't really been able to enjoy it too much because there's so many gunshots. So I got my shades on because it's so sunny, so I don't have the glare in my face. But I, um, yeah, right here, I'm just having some good lunch. I just had some turkey slices, pepper jack cheese, and some carrots. And yeah, so I decided I'd bring some lunch and just get outdoors today. Oh, this kind of helps my anxiety to just be in nature and be outdoors. So still hear the gunshots, but whatever. So I want to take this video and talk about mind wipe. Um, mind wipe. So mind wipe is something very, very interesting to talk about. Mind wipe is um, used in several different ways. And I today had looked it up and got some notes. So Wikipedia has some information on mind wipe, but they see it as fictional, <laughs> but it's not fictional. Now, uh, so with my notes on mind wipe, I gathered... Now, mind wipe. First, let's talk about mind wipe. So, mind wipe is the device they use, uh, most specifically in abductions, to cause someone to forget and lose memory. Now, if you've seen Men in Black, they had a device, and it was called. Um, I don't know what it was called. Damn, I think I just said the notes. It's called a neuralizer yeah neuralizer that they would use to make people forget what they saw so they'd flash this little device and it has like a camera flashlight so that is a mind wipe device now if you've been abducted you most likely have had this mind wipe device used on you and you cannot remember these memories but i was able to remember my memory so some people can remember their memories still even though this mind wipe device is used on them uh, i guess it must have a few flaws where people can still remember things some people only have bits and bits and fragments my memory is so strong i remember mostly everything now this mind wipe device uh it, sometimes it's not even advice. Sometimes a human can actually do this, uh, perform this mind wipe, uh, you, either by magic or hypnosis. The aliens also will use a form of magic and hypnosis to bring you out of your room. They actually can make you levitate and come out of your window as well. And I'll talk more about that in another, another video. But um, we'll talk mostly about the mind wipe device in this in this um, video. Because, um, you know, so this mind wipe, it can be performed hypnotic or magically, or with the mind wipe device, which is used by the military government and the aliens, shadow, uh, shadow government. Now, um, it also sometimes can be used as a capital pun punishment to make the subject more useful to the system. That's some notes I just gathered on Wikipedia there real quick. So, um, this mind wipe, now, my first experience with this mind wipe, now seeing, seeing in this uh, little Wikipedia article and seeing that it can be used uh, in a uh, magically or hypnotic way and it also as well can alter a human's personality so it, it erases memories and it can alter personality so as a child when my father molested me because I grew up in a satanic cult family and my father molested me at about the age of four uh, which I kind of explained in my other video which is you know it's a sorry this is an 18 plus kind of situation uh, you know conversation here so I'm sorry about that guys but um so Basically, he used uh, hypnosis as well as magic to cause me to forget a little bit about the abduction. It caused me to, but it, what it did was it, in turn, it turned into disassociative personality um, disorder. So as a child and growing up, that permanently changed me to where I had disassociative personality disorder so that I couldn't remember that memory. I would always just go into this disassociative state where I could even it was crazy because I I'd be in class I could put myself like in a whole different world like I could just go in and out of like a different world and it, it's so strange because it was almost like I, I could look at a picture I could like go there like seriously like be there even like physically so I, I it was like I could put my body in different places almost it was really interesting and it was a defense mechanism um as well you know so it, it altered me a lot so this mind wipe can be used also in satanic rituals pedophiles can do uh use it as well on children um and it's, it, it, this is used by high level magicians and black magic the, these people are using a combination of black magic as well as this military and these aliens uh entities as well so um <clears throat> this mind wipe it it, it kind of they say it, it's looking here it's talk, they're talking about it being a, a form of uh brainwashing almost because it can alter personalities as well and kind of result in a disassociative state you know so um this mind wipe um let's see what other notes i had in it yep so that's all i pretty much got on the mind wipe now i'm going to talk about my own experience now my own experience with the mind wipe was um 
with my abduction, you know, when I when I really remembered, you know, this last abduction, I remembered everything. And um, yeah, John um, had been, you know, just I had been abducted. He had just been dropping me off in my bed and um, he was on top of me and he had the mind wipe device. It is a small um, it's like a black device they carry in their hands. And um, it, he began to flash it and flash the light right in front of my uh, face, just like that. And um, at the same time he was doing that, he was telling me that if I ever spoke about any of this, any of these abductions, that I I was going to get killed. He told me he would kill me if I dare spoke about this shit. So, um, <laughs> but hey, I'm, st- I'm talking about it now and I'm not dead. I, I, I just decided, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Threaten me all you want. I don't care. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. So... <laughs> took a lot of courage to talk about it because I've just you know I felt like you know I'm so glad I started this channel and talked about it but yeah I got that big old threat there um I'd been threatened several times they told me they would cause me cancer if I dare spoke about it like a just horrible if I ever spoke about anything but you know what I'm speaking about it I'm gonna keep on speaking about it (laughs) so this um mind wipe device uh it was not effective on me at all during any of these uh last abductions now back when i was a child those abductions are a little iffy some of the the, i had so many abductions as a child that some of them i don't remember many of them i was brought to brought to beautiful places sometimes or i'd have like other experiments done on me but i do remember mostly uh, a lot of memories as a child of the abductions many things stuck in my nose and um you know having a child at six years old and all, all that stuff. So all those memories that I had, you know, videoed, those are stuff that I remember. Um, there's just still a little things that I'm still working on bringing back a few things. So this mind wipe device in combination with, if you have been put in the mental health system with a combination of these psychotropic heavy duty drugs is how your memory is lost. Now, these psychotropic drugs, I had stopped taking years ago. I had stopped taking years ago. So they only had the mind wipe device and it wasn't effective and causing me to lose my memory as well as even just stopping the drugs and having them get out of my system. I was able to remember everything, everything. So know that they will use a combination of the mind wipe device as well as drugs, heavy duty drugs that can mess with your memory, cause you to be really sleepy and really out of it. So it's a combination of several different things that they will use to erase your memory. Now there's another tool that they use when they bring you onto the ship that is very similar to the mind wipe device. It's a device that they carry and um, they carry it around and it, it, it's very similar. It does a similar camera like flash and that will be used they'll direct it at you and then it'll flash the light and the next thing you know you're you're on a ship it's it's that fast it, it, it's like a teleporting kind of device i don't know the name of this device but i'm gonna try to find out i'm doing tons of research i will try to find out i'll try to make another video on that and get you all some information now let me know what you guys opinion is have you um had experience with the mind wipe device with an abduction do you guys remember anything i i would love to know i would really love to know so i'm really glad i got some information on this and could talk about this with you guys today and um yeah i hope everyone has a good day oh this button's not letting me okay <laughs>